Could psychotherapy be mostly computerized someday? The recent article in the Atlantic, The Extremely Personal Computer, The Digital Future of Mental Health, extrapolates from current trends to show how this could come about by combining novel computer-assisted self-management techniques with mobile phone apps that monitor the patient's vital signs. Social media elements are also included in the mix. The first iterations of the trend toward using software in therapy, the article notes, come from companies such as Posit Science, Dakem, Lumo City, Brain Plasticity, Sharp Brains, and Mood Gym. Some of these companies feature brain training applications intended to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Make people smarter, increase alertness, and slash or state of cognitive decline in the elderly. For example, Dakem claims that its brain Phoenix APP can prevent or slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Though no specific proof is offered, the firm cites studies showing the positive effects of cognitive stimulation in delaying memory decline related to dementia. Lumo City, the largest player in the brain training field with 20 million subscribers, lists some peer-reviewed papers on its website to support its claims of improving brain health and performance. Mood Gym sells multimedia programs that teach cognitive behavior training skills for thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Preventing and coping with depression and anxiety disorders. The new behavior health applications also address a number of other conditions. Posit Science, for example, says that its brain HQ APP has helped cancer survivors deal with memory loss and other cognitive problems, depression, and anxiety. And brain plasticity, the San Francisco-based research institute and technology incubator has received a $2 million grant from the Department of Defense to study the effects of using Brain HQ with patients who have traumatic brain injuries TBI. Brain plasticity's research extends to many other areas as well. For example, the National Institute's Thank You for Trying Verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Of Health NIH gave the firm a $3.65 million grant to develop cognitive remediation software for schizophrenic patients. Last June, Brain Plasticity announced it was launching a multi-center trial to test the effects of a computerized, Brain Plasticity-based program for this purpose. The Institute is also investigating the use of this kind of software for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's prevention and to treat ADHD in children, TBI, social cognition deficits, anxiety disorders, and major depression. Wellness and health promotion companies have also developed apps for improving behavioral health. For example, Johnson & Johnson's Wellness and Prevention subsidiary offers a computerized thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go.